So I'm not sure if the connection is okay already, but uh, so let's wait for people to join us. Yeah, and we're 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 live, no? All right. So I haven't done Facebook Live for quite some time uh, due to the rigorous schedule, especially for Icon, no? So while we're waiting for a couple of people to join us, first of all, uh, you know what's been happening from from London to Marawi to Resorts World Manila, these are things that are relatively uh, sad as a whole. Uh, and I'm not, I'm not really a fan of terrorist attacks. I don't like what what they would do because they so so fear to a lot of our kababayan. So whatever, uh, the best thing that you can do as a as a Filipino is to live your lives normally. No matter what you see, no matter the bad news that you see out there, uh, try your best to try your best to just live live a normal life. Don't let don't give in to fear. Don't give in to whatever sown out there. Whatever you see uh, that that would cause you to. Uh, live a life that's different from how you would uh, live normally. So whatever terrorists are doing, they're just there to sow fear. They're there to sow discord, and they're the, they're there to uh, to prevent you from investing as well. So my, my suggestion to you is li live in, live with optimism, live with hope that regardless of what you see out there, you're supposed to uh, live live your life normally. All right. So there. Now we have people joining us from Cavite. You have Ergin. You have. Uh, Kapulong Isel, we have uh, my, we have Janice. Good evening to all of you. So we'll wait for one more minute to to see if people will join us for this Facebook Live session. No, I haven't done uh, a couple of videos lately because of because of Icon and because of the the schedules over the past few days. But uh, thank you so much to to you guys who've joined us. Thank you so much for all of you who've been part of Icon 2017. And I'm excited for Stock Smarts Manila this. This June 10, this Saturday, then we'll be very, very busy this July. Uh, we'll be in Qatar, Dubai, and Iloilo City. So, to all our kababayans here, I'm excited to see you. We now have Abe from Jeddah joining us. We now have uh, Cesar says hello. Good evening to all of you. It's been relatively hot in Manila lately, no? so I hope that uh, all of you na hedge kayo din sa sa init din na nangyayari. I'm also excited for the NBA Finals. Sino sa inyo uh, who? part of Golden State Warriors or sino naman sa inyo Cleveland message below uh, I'm a big fan of the NBA as well it's not just about the stock market but it's also about uh, trying to live a very very balanced life as well so now uh, this video is brought about by a lot of your questions regarding Resorts World Manila so I got a couple of them uh, over the past few over the past few days especially uh, because of what happened over the past weekend uh, but here's the thing though um, if you know my style when it comes to investing, if you know my style when it comes to how I how I do my trades and how I would select stocks as well, my goal is really not to base it on news but to base it on uh, what the numbers actually say. Uh, what what do I mean by that? Uh, Resorts Real Manila, if you try to look at it, it's part, it's it's, it's a gambling stock. Uh, what does that mean? It's not part of where the economy for me as a whole is going. It's not a consumption stock. It's not a, uh, it's not a cement stock. It's not a construction stock. It's not even a banking stock. So from a macroeconomic perspective, I wouldn't even look at it as well. But if you would go uh, and try to look at the company one by one, uh, its earnings and its net income, I'm talking about Resource World Manila. Resource World Manila's income has been declining already since 2014. So 2014, 2015, 2016, Resource World Manila hasn't been hasn't been growing so if you're an investor Shepard, your goal as an investor is to buy companies that are growing your goal as an investor is to buy companies that are that are increasing because you don't want a company whose income is decreasing because they're, they're probably losing their share probably competitors are also beating them and you have to understand uh, when it comes to the casino and the gaming industry Madaming Calaban Resorts World they're not the only uh, gaming company here you have you have Okada that just opened you also have uh, Solaire and then you also have uh, City of Dreams Manila so more more gaming companies will be like competitors also for them and which is what we've seen also a decline in their income since 2014 they've been saying that it's not their it's not their market that they won't get affected but uh, 2014 2015 2016 has been showing us otherwise that their income has been declining uh, that's one so resource for many less declining income declining EPS and then here's the thing uh, ROE has been very very low ROE of resource world is around six so for those who attended Stock Smarts, we have our parameters on what will cause us to buy uh, the stock. You want a company that's a very, very high ROE. Uh, the ROE of Resource World is six, and it's very, very that's a very, very low uh, parameter as well. So 
decrease, decreasing net income, decreasing EPS, and then a very, very low, low ROE for it. On a technical perspective, though, here's, here's the thing. Uh, for those who have, been, who have been following our Stock Smart series, uh, we talked about the MACD or Moving Average Convergence and Divergence. Uh, the MACD gave us already a sell signal, gave us a bearish signal for the stock May 17. So, what does this mean? There was no buy signal for the stock a couple of weeks already prior to its uh, large, large drop. And your goal, again, as a, as a trader, is to be dictated by what the charts will tell you. A uh, couple of things. If you're an investor, uh, fundamentals is telling you to stay away from it, regardless of there was, regardless of the bomb, regardless of the uh, the person, the perpetrator who was there. So way before that happened, RWM wasn't a good buy. On a technical aspect, uh, on a technical aspect, nahingalok. <laughs> it's hard to walk pala while doing this, but this is some sort of exercise also for me because it allows me to uh, to walk also, no. So on a technical aspect. Uh, short-term indicators, the MACD, the cross down of the uh, two two moving averages, did not give us a gave us a sell signal for the stock May 17. Pa lang. It gave us a short-term bearish movement. However, because of the news, it triggered more sellers to come into the market. So, what does this mean? A short-term stock that is bearish will continue to go down until proven otherwise. However, this news already added fuel to something that was already bearish for the short term. Hence, the black, large black candle that caused the stock to go down lower. One thing that you need to watch out for is, uh, if you look at the chart, I, I this since it's a live video, it's hard for me to pull up the chart of Resorts World, but the chart of Resorts World over the long term was, it was, it was headed down for quite some time already. Then it started to consolidate a bit for the past, uh, I guess, for a couple of months. Uh, the strongest support for it and the lowest uh, that Resorts World has been was at 3 pesos per share. So watch out for that. If 3 pesos breaks as well, uh, we can see, we, we might see Resorts World go, uh, go lower over the next few days and, and weeks still. So something that's bearish will just continue to uh, be bearish until something changes, until something uh, gets, gets, gets uh, changed in how, how Resorts World will move. Another thing though, will Resorts will move up over short term? There's a possibility because oversold stocks uh, react with a knee-jerk reaction. Uh, watch the RSI, watch as it hits certain short-term support levels, watch that and the RSI and that can be a buy signal for you. However, for those who are position traders and for those who are fundamental investors and for those who are uh, following where the thread is headed, we don't have any buy signal for the stock as well. So. That's it. Uh, I, I'll do stocks by request this week already. I promise. So uh, don't buy it yet. It's only for people who want to do quick punts because of it being oversold. Because of people are uh, trying to uh, take advantage of of the of 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 the quick selling that happened over the past few days. So I'll keep. I'll give you more updates. What happened to Resorts World was very sad, uh, especially in a time like this. Uh, my suggestion, us as Filipinos, we really need to be uh, united, uh, especially when when we're faced with with crisis like this. Because uh, I, I I I don't know why, but most most people when they when they're in a situation like this, nagsisisyan sila. And uh, what I tell you is this: it's time for us to be to join together as Filipinos that are we united? We unite. This is our country. It's time for us not just uh, to invest in this country, but help others also believe that uh, we we have to take advantage of of what's there and let's not point fingers. Let's help each other out to make this country even better and to and to grow even more. So that's it. We have a couple of people who joined us. Nagpapabate. You have Enrico. You have. Uh, you have Ivan, you have uh, Elsel from, he's rooting for the Golden State Warriors, and you have Evangeline, good evening to you, da Dami, you have Pastor D uh, David Hustival from Hong Kong, hello to you, uh, Cesar, hello. So there, uh, I guess that's all for now. Uh, I'll give you more updates also on what this means to the PSEI, and uh, your stocks by request, we'll try to talk about them uh, in, the next, uh, in the next few live sessions. So uh, as promise I'll try to do more videos promise ako ng promise ng video na pero hindi ko rin uh, nagagawa but I'll try to do more for for all of you I, I think schedules are relatively uh, 
uh, lighter this week. I'll be in the BSP launch or the book launch of the BS of the BSP Governor Nestor Espinilla this Tuesday, and I'll also be in the Sun Life launch this Wednesday. So for those who are, who would like to meet me, I'll be there in those events. So I guess that's it. Hope you have a great week ahead. Uh, for those who are trading tomorrow, make sure to uh, check your charts tonight. Uh, make sure to have your trading plans ready. The best place for you to be if you're trading the markets is to uh, have an informed decision, have an informed plan. Don't just guess, don't just speculate on news, don't just speculate on what could be, but you have to base your trades on what the charts or what the fundamentals are telling you. So uh, I guess that's all for now. God bless you all. Have a great week ahead. Uh, that's what I always say. Trade well, trade strong, trade smart. See you all soon.